Vancouver, les Jeux de Paris, célébrant la 33e Olympiade des temps modernes. And there it is. As simple as that, the games are declared open. Some more formalities, of course, remain, not least the lighting of the Olympic cauldron. The arrival of the flame expected in just a few moments' time. And then some world-renowned French and international athletes will carry that flame in a boat to the Jardin des Tuyères and to the cauldron. Mesdames et messieurs, le serment olympique. Ladies and gentlemen, the Olympic oath. The Olympic oath here to be taken by France's two flag bearers, Florent Manadou and Méline Robert Michon. Au nom des entraîneurs et des officiels, nous promettons de prendre part à ces Jeux Olympiques en respectant et en suivant les règles dans un esprit de fair play, d'inclusion et d'égalité. Ensemble, nous sommes solidaires et nous nous engageons pour un sport sans dopage, sans tricherie et sans aucune forme de discrimination. Nous, nous le, le faisons, faisons pour l'honneur de, de nos équipes, équipes dans, dans le respect, respect des principes fondamentaux de l'Olympisme et pour, et pour rendre, rendre le monde meilleur, meilleur grâce, grâce au sport. Au sport. A commitment to fair play and equality, clean sport, team sport. Now here's a familiar figure. Zinedine Zidane as we head towards a whole raft of celebrities as the torch makes its final twists and turns towards its final destination we saw Zinedine in the film at the top of the program here he is again that Olympic oath by the way first introduced at the games in Antwerp in 1920 is another integral part of it. He's had a busy night carrying the torch across the rooftops and he's about to say hello to proper French celebrity, footballing celebrity. Did he ever solve the mystery of the Mona Lisa? <laughs> he's had a lot on his plate in fairness. He's focused his attention on the torch, which is now safely in the hands of Zinedine Zidane. And it's going to be passed through a few great athletic hands in just a few moments' time. He's enjoying the moment, isn't he? Well, he made a name for himself by winning the 1998 World Cup on home soil with the French team, followed by Euro 2000 a couple of years later. Really catapulting the French football team into a brand new dimension. And really a new dynamic for French sport as a whole as well. And here's somebody you will know very well, Catherine. That's a beaming smile we've all come to know and love, isn't it? A Real Madrid fan, of course, Rafael Nadal. And a very warm embrace between these two. A singles and doubles gold Olympic medalist, Rafael Nadal. He'd love one more to add to that collection. He's playing singles and doubles at this game. Games doubles, of course, alongside uh, countrymen, reigning Wimbledon and French Open champion Carlos Alcaraz. That's why you didn't see him on the boat, Nick. Well, he might have been there. He might have been squirrelling away somewhere. My goodness. I'm not sure we're ever going to see a better player on the red clay up the road at Roland Garros. He owned Philippe Chatrier. 
And that, of course, is where the Olympic tennis is being held, on the court where he has won 14 titles. One of the incredible venues. We'll also host the boxing, of course, Roland Garros. visitor to Paris, you always know they're doing things with the Eiffel Tower, various light shows, there's never been anything like this. That's a way to say hello to five rings. In 1913, that Pierre de Corbetin devised an emblem that he wanted to be as universal as possible. He himself drew five interlaced rings, representing in his eyes the five continents united by Olympism, the colours of all the nations. And the Olympic symbol appeared in his letters from July 1913 onwards, presented to the Olympic Review in 1914. and all that they represent in 2024. And I think a very special someone, Nick, is about to emerge in this light show. The return of the Olympics to Paris after 100 years and another <laughs> long-awaited return. If rumours are to be believed, anyway. way back on the Seine. Heading towards the cauldron. We've been told to expect a cauldron like no other, so this is going to be worth staying tuned for. We honestly have no idea, do we? No. I'm starting to wonder if the Eiffel Tower itself is the flame. Who knows if that's logistically possible, but... It's interesting that Rafael Nadal now is switching <laughs> to the left hand. He probably feels a bit more comfortable well, in that hand. Nick, he is a natural right-hander. There you go. I think I spied another tennis player in that boat. There she is. Aha! Queen Serena. Queen Serena. Big fan of Paris is Serena. She had an apartment here, didn't she? Mm. In the days that she was playing regularly at, uh, at Roland Garros. I'm not sure whether she still does. Yeah, speaks a, speaks a bit of French. One Olympic sim singles gold, three in doubles alongside Sister Venus. Heck of an Olympian. Thank you, the champion. I think that's um, that's Carl Lewis as well. 
sitting down. It is. <laughs> Goodness me. It, what, a, what a collection of champions in a life jacket. And I think we have Nadia Komenich. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Now. Now that's a boat full of sailors. How, how do we think they felt when they were presented with those life jackets after they'd put their lovely outfits on? Health and safety. Health mm. and safety. Hi, I'm Ellie Simmons. Subscribe to Eurosport on YouTube to catch the very best of the action from the Paris 2024 Olympics.